Hey everyone, my name is Jetta Mike Seven. I'm back with another video, and today we're gonna be doing our first uh, reaction on this channel. I'm um, basically doing reaction to uh, the series finale, or at least the season one finale of Loki on Disney Plus. Uh, this has been a really fantastic season. Um, I said this is Marvel's third Disney Plus show, and hopefully this uh, season finale ends on a good high note. Uh, please, guys, let me at the end of this video. Please let me know what you guys think about the episode, your feedback. Um, and what to store for what possibly might be a season two. We know season two is coming. Um, but yeah, let's just get right into the video and uh, let's do it. Wait, this is... um. Wait, this is... um. This is, a, uh, this is Peggy. This is Peggy and um, Steve Song from Endgame. Nelson Mandela? Mandela? The vision with love, with grief, without love, persevering. That's great. Man, they are not pulling any punches right now. What is happening? All right, let's do this. Come on, let's go. Man, this episode started really good, by the way. The flashback of all people talking dialogue from all the MCU films. They had, like, Mandela. They had... Um, my Angelo in there too. That's what's up. That's it, man. No pulling back from this. I'm not kicking no door in this. All right. Is it King? Is it King Loki? Who is it? Is it Alligator Loki? Who is it? Yo. If they. Oh, come on. <laughs> Just tell us, damn it. Jonathan Majors, where are you? That's him. It's him, my boy. Wow, they didn't they didn't Ralph Boner us. Thank you, Marvel. Thank you, Kevin Feige. No, you ain't killing his ass. Yeah, you ain't killing his ass. He gonna be Ant Man. So nope. Man, shout out to you, Marvel. Y'all, man, you all did yourself on this one. This reveal. I'm not drinking that shit. Are you kidding me? Hell no. Nah. Please, I'll just take a water. That's right, my boy. Get her ass. Come on, I'm ready for your ass. Come on, let's go. Fremont, Ohio, 2018. Wait, they're going to take her. Yo. Hell nah. Man, my boy Jonathan Mayer, she ain't losing nothing. Shout out to you, brother, man. You phenomenal actor. Because I let you. Yeah, my boy. Wow. Man, what is free will, I guess, honestly? Yeah, have you not seen Lord of the Rings? Come on. Now it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. It's about the quest. Cults, man. A necessary lie. And let it burn. Give us a history origin story, my boy. The Daniel Richards. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, the variants. Cause yeah, no. So, nah, they've been. Nah, he's telling the truth. I'm tired, man. Been a million lifetimes. I'm tired. They go on vacation. I told you, he tired. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? Uh oh. Did he just cross this threshold. What does that mean? What the hell is going on? Multiverse madness. <laughs> I 
reincarnation, baby. No, he ain't lying. He's the only one telling the truth in the whole damn season. This is just a, just a different version of him. What the hell's going on? I am so confused. No. Uh oh. <sighs> Damn it. Hell yeah, you're in a pickle. Oh god. Don't kill. No. Please. Come on. No. No. Yes. Okay, they're kissing each other. Oh, God. Get Mobius, man. We got to get the hell out of here. Hell yeah, I'll see you soon. He told you. He wasn't lying. Yeah, the Conqueror's coming. And the branch realities, the multiverse. It's over. The multiverse and Matt. They like Dormammu in the back. Wow. Oh, yeah, it's over. It's over. It's over. Man, this dude, dude. Man, Tom Hiddleston, you did a good job in this, man. Create your own glorious purpose. Oh, they just walk right past them. What? Uh, yep. No, him, Kang. Are you? Are you serious? Are you serious? Ah! Ah! Why did you do that? Oh my gosh, Marvel! Why are you? What are you doing to me? That cannot be the finale. All right, it gotta be end credit scene or something. What is going on, man? Season two, baby! Let's go. Wow. <laughs> what? There you have it, folks. Oh, uh, that is the finale of season one of Loki. Obviously, if you saw it in the video, uh, in the episode, season two is coming. Um, dude. Okay, my boy Jonathan Majors. Let's. Let's go, man. Y'all, if you have not seen Lovecraft Country, unfortunately, it's not going to get a season two on HBO, but it's a phenomenal, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal show on HBO. Um, yeah, he's a fantastic actor in that. Um, like, oh my God, I cannot believe they did it. Because listen, obviously in the past, you know, we've seen Marvel done this trope about where we think they're going to do this concept and actually make it more simple, i.e. in WandaVision, we thought it was going to be Mephisto and all that stuff. No. Just Ralph Boner, and that wasn't Quicksilver, you know, multiverse and stuff wasn't going on that and mess, but it is happening now. And I will not be surprised. We are going to probably get a Spider Man trailer in a couple of weeks because this just showed a lot of stuff is happening. The multiverse is going into madness. Boy, Jonathan Majors, he played the part out of this he was the highlight obviously in this episode and it was a lot of action there was a lot of action at all i'm just like uh like he was just sitting out just talking i love the way he was just uh talking now uh, one thing i do believe that we're gonna see him again he's gonna be the villain for ant-man and the wasp quantumania ant-man 3 now i don't think it might obviously it won't be this version because he just got killed by sylvie um but uh and he said something much worse is coming and different versions of him, because there's different versions of Kang and, and, and throughout the comics and everything. One who's an ally, I think one of them became, you know, an Iron Lad, who's part of the Young Avengers and everything. But but also this, I just realized, they didn't mention his name. Like he said, I've been called many names, you know, a conqueror and other stuff, a scientist. You know, but I was just like, dude, like, they didn't even mention his name. I, I'm glad they didn't. And just they went to the whole trope, he who remains, but they took it out and actually put it in, like, oh, it's actually King the Conqueror or, or, or a version of King or Nathaniel Richards, but King the Conqueror, the Conqueror is coming. Uh, I cannot wait. Yo, the the relationship between Sylvie and Loki, I'm so glad they didn't kill, her, kill Sylvie off. I thought, oh man, they're going to have to 
kill each other. Um, but wait a minute. But then also, there's there's some scenes in this uh, in in this uh, episode that was not. And it's the last episode. Oh, uh, wh- wh- where is this shot? There's a shot of Loki in the Ventress Tower, or there's a shot of King Loki that we see in the trailers. I'm like, so was that just like Marvel's? Like, ah, we got you. <laughs> like, uh, uh, they basically just like say we got you. They're just trying to confuse us off in the audience. Because we didn't see those shots in, in, in the episode. This is the last episode of the season um, of him as King Loki. I'm glad that Sylvie and Loki did not, you know, or Loki didn't kill Sylvie and Sylvie's still around. Maybe she's now controlling the sacred time or whatever. But you can see at the end that she realized that she made a huge mistake. Um, but obviously, as a Loki, you can't trust. I'm glad the least we got that kiss at the end. I'm so glad we got it. Um, yeah, that was just very nice to see. Um, yeah, I, I, I just was very, I was very happy with the rest of the, and then uh the, the girl what's her name ravona r slayer the fact they went back into her timeline back in 2008 in ohio and she you knows she's just a teacher uh she's like i think she's a high school teacher at least her prime the prime version of herself but then ravona the the one we follow she's going off so where are you going to find free you no know, to find free will and then and like the act that the the men the, the her devotion to someone that she'd ever even met which you know that this Ravona, she's going to be in relationship with the upcoming king the conqueror but the thing was interesting though was after you know he they kissed he kicked her out of the, out of the timeline everything uh uh you know he goes back to tva and he's running past the soldiers but they didn't they don't stop him and i was like interesting like basically just like okay moby is running in and and stuff but then he, they get into Mobius and find always in Hunter B-15, and then they don't even recognize him. They ask, hey, what's your name? And it's like, wait, what? And he's like, Yo, what's your name? And then you look at the 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 structure where there's supposed to be three timekeepers and only one, and it's Kang the Conqueror. They did it. I was like, Marvel did it. They did not pull any punches in this episode at all. Um, I was very happy what they just did. It was just like, uh, what this means. means Spider-Man is going to be coming. Listen. I don't care what anybody says. Toby and Andrew, they're gonna be they're gonna be in in, in uh the next Spider Man the Spider Man film. Um, and because of this, and the reason why we did not see a trailer this month, whatever, we're probably getting a few weeks because they have to break the timeline, the multiverse for this able to happen. That's why Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness is coming. I this is just open a door of a a bunch of pop uh, possibilities. And I just say the highlight of this episode was. Jonathan Majors. Uh, I'm uh, I'm probably gonna give this episode. Um, me personally, I think this finale, as uh, much as there was not a lot of action that was going on, the dialogue, like I said, the dialogue drew the narrative so much to the point where I'm like, I was hooked in the whole time, and I wasn't even, and I was like, I was confused, but I think it was the point of they're like waiting as the audience, like, who is this? Where are we going? The elevator open, and the elevator open, and he just sitting there just chilling. I was just like what they did it like um uh, but yeah this one i don't know what this means uh for, for what's coming up we also know that uh in, back in the episode uh episode five they're like there's a bunch of easter eggs obviously you saw the daniel's copter you saw uh uh throg you saw a bunch of other things you also noticed saw yellow jacket yellow jacket who's the villain of the first ant-man movie you saw his helmet and we know it was confirmed that aaron stole i think the uh the actor the person that played uh uh yellow jacket he's coming back uh for the third one uh so yeah this is this is open up new possibilities and i hope after the events of what we saw recently with black widow you better not crap on this character please do not marvel like you you've been 60 40 on having bad villains over good villains and just after black widow having uh ass master or or uh trash master what i call him uh or her uh and yeah uh i hope you guys don't disappoint again nothing to do with their gender or anything like that but just like the weight of this character you ever like there's so much you can do you better not screw this up but in kevin feige we trust but thank you guys this will be the end of this video uh hope you guys like this reaction uh this is my first one please give me some feedback what you guys think um again thank you guys for tuning in for uh uh for the last uh reviews and stuff and see you like this format see if i'm able to do some more reactions if you like like that um but again once again my name is jedi mike make sure you hit the subscribe button uh comment like and share you can subscribe to jedi mike 7 on 
uh, Instagram and YouTube. Um, and please let me know what you guys think. And um, thank you again. My name is Jenna Mike. Until next time, God bless you. Bye-bye. Thank you.